Welcome back everyone to Piney Plays the Beorning, and we are about to speak with Gandalf, who's going to tell us what he thinks about the final words of that orc who said that many prisoners died below Isengard. An orc gains nothing by being truthful to us. But he may desire satisfaction by bringing us sorrow. I believe Lothrandir survives, but if he is not brought into the light soon, it may become too late to save him. North of the tower, you will find an entrance into the depths below Isengard. Search the watery deeps for some news of Saruman's captives. He may yet live, if we hurry. Alright, so let's then head into the underground. I should have some idea where this is going to be because let's face it we've been here before though I must admit the landscape has changed a little bit since we were here it's well a little wetter I've got to grant you that a great deal wetter I must say all right here we go a little street flooding here now I'm trying to think, okay, let's play a hobbit coming through here. I don't think so. Alright, well, here's beneath Isengard. <sighs> let's get into here. Again. Hey, hello, Goladir. Mr. Cheerful himself. If Lothrandir is down here, we will find him. We will find him. This pit has seen better days, but it will see worse still if our friend has come to harm. What few of Saruman's lackeys still lurk in the depths no longer carry out his will. They seem to be busy scavenging for treasure and fighting amongst themselves over it. <laughs> Fools! Many doors remain locked to us, and it could be that one of these scavengers has picked up the key to whichever cell is holding our friend. I will keep searching, as will others of the company, and you should do the same. Defeat these scavengers and see what you can find. All right. So, oh, and I was talking about not having to fight surly Uruks again. Yeah, now we have to fight surly Uruk scavengers. Yay! So some things just never change. Hello. Oh yeah, the other thing that changes though is that they immediately stun you and what? Oh, oh, you interrupt their stun? No, I'm sorry, their stun doesn't seem to be interruptible. I just have to avenge myself by stunning you in return. All right, well, it's enough on that. Okay, that's one down. Okay. Oh, that's it. If you interrupt one of their stunning attacks, then they hit you with their other stunning attack. Like, look at this. You're, you're knocked down for several seconds, and you can't do a thing about it. I mean, I have... Nothing is more annoying. Well, okay, there, there are probably some things that are more annoying. It's like Wretched Falconer or something like this. And then the has a very quick cooldown too, which is even worse. All right, well, I think I better have some of that after that. All right, let's see. Uh, do I have anything other than? Oh well, I guess I'll just have some whey bread, or I guess honey cakes. I presume is what's technically called. All right, do I have? Oh yeah, it's time to. Let's go. Well, that's one way to take care of him. See, how far can I get him down before... Yeah. Alright, 
is it? Okay, so that's what we could do. There's three down. I really don't like getting down very far in this thing. Now, fortunately, I don't have my stun attack. Annoying. Actually, I know what I forgot to do. I really should have brought my soldier with me. That could help keep me alive. And what happens is, of course, if they're anywhere near another one... Uh, another one of these things, then... Yeah, then you can just... They get these buffs, all these support buffs that they get with each other also, which makes it even more annoying. Alright, let's see. Let's see how long is this one going. Yeah, it's not going to last very long. Yeah. And you got to fight a whole bunch of them. Look at this. It's every speed buff in the crazy book is thrown on you. I really think they went overkill just to see how much they could upset the player base. That's the only thing I can think of because it, I can't think of any other reason for creating such useless opponents. Alright, well. Alright, fine. He drops the key. Thank goodness. So let's get out of here. You see how I bypass the one that respawned. Okay, here's the key. Ah, you found a key. I have found half a dozen already. Yeah. Oh, very good, very good. It is possible it will open the way to Lothan Deer. I have found a half dozen already, and matching doors in half of those. But still, no sign of my kinsman. Still, one of these may prove to be the one. All right. Return to the surface and find Halbaran. There are some buildings in the wall, of which, to which we may not yet gained entry, and these keys may unlock some of those. Uh, before I left him, he said that he was planning to search the buildings northwest of the tower. That is where you should seek him. Alright, so let's go and find Halbaran, and see if we have found Lothrandir. Oh, it's uh, down this way. A little bit. It looks like west northwest rather than pure northwest. That's all I gotta say. I guess he said northwest of the tower is probably more likely what he said. Maybe I should pay attention to the quest text and that will help things along a bit. All right. Hello there. We've got a few more keys. Golodir sends more keys. Very well. There are doors enough, that is for certain. Blothendir must be behind one of them. Speak with me when you are ready to search another building, as in the wall for my lost kinsman. Alright, let's go. There are many hidden rooms within the Ring of Isengard. Does my kinsman live still within one of these chambers? Alright, oh joyous. Alright, so let's just draw him to here. There's like all these stupid buffs that... I just don't like these buffs that they had. You know, on top of all the of those annoying disarms, stuns... What do you get on top of it? Of course, buffs that are within a mile of each other, they will... Oh, uh, this one looks like he's more than a mile from his friends. Thank goodness! Oh, yeah, he's get friends are coming close. Yeah. Oh, hopefully that will get him down soon. Okay, good. Two for the price of one. Now, let's see. Any others this way? Any others this way? 
Oh, actually, let's wait till those guys pass away. Oh, he turned around already. Good. So, therefore, Buff is gone. It's time to... Oh, he goes back and forth on the matter. Yeah, he goes back and forth. Alright, we'll be able to get him easily when the, buff, when the direction changes. Alright, let's just wait properly. And... There we go. Let's see. At least these ones don't seem to have the stun attack that their friends have, which is a good thing. All right, is that it? Now we got one more of these guys to kill. And he apparently has at least one friend somewhere because I could see the buffs on him. No idea where his friend's at. So I'm going to have to live with the buffs. Well, he'll die with the buffs, I guess. And is that it? Ah, oh, here he is. I was wondering where he was lurking. And I think this is the last of the ones that I need to kill for this. Before we head out and find. Ooh, ah, ooh yourself. All right, I think down this way. And deeper. Far below. Okay, we've found Halvorad. Hello there. I came to this room from another passage, Pine Claw. It seems that the walls of Isengard is a worn of rooms and tunnels, but we will search them all for my kinsmen. Saruman cannot hide him from us forever. Wait. Someone comes. Ah, fox on your pine claw. You should not have come back. And you have come in the company of another ranger? Have I not killed enough of their kind? I know who you are, Gunain. Lothendir spoke of you when we rode south. Tell us where he is, and it will go easier for you. What makes you so certain you want to see him, Ranger? Oh, very well. I will grant you your wish. Lothran, dear! Come show your friends what has become of you. Agmerm witch, what have you done to him? I am not responsible for this. Your friend refused to cooperate with my master, so he tried to resist. Saruman broke his mind. You lie! Alright, so let's... Let's see what happens. Ah! Haven't we already fought against her? Oh. Okay, well. That was a little bit easier than some of the other battles I had with her. Hmm. Lothrandir? You recognize me? Ooh, now this is one of his worst crimes. Alright, are you trying to say something? Fuck! Fuck! What is it, Lothrandir? Lothrandir. Goladir, what is this? Oh, no. Fal... Gun. Falcon? What are you trying to tell us, Lothrandir? The Falcon clan is defeated. They have paid for their betrayal, my friend. Oh, Gunain seems to be back. What sorcery has they worked upon this kinsman? 
Lothrandir is a shell of himself, Fireclaw, and I will make those responsible for his sad state reap the reward of their crime. The Falcon Clan has may pay, Halbrad. Lothrandir, I cannot avenge himself with them, so I will do it in his memory. Now, the witch dies. Oops. Goladir, hold! Will her death ease even the smallest portion of our grief? It will not, Goladir. I know that. I know that better than anyone. You will never know what you and your master took from us, Gunain. You will never know. No words of mine can make you feel what I felt for our kinsmen. But I know this. In Forhel, Lothrandir showed you kindness. No others of my kin would have done the same. <clears throat> Lothran, dear. I am sorry. I am sorry we did not come in time, my friend. All I wanted was a name, Pine Claw. I wanted to belong to someone again. I wanted a family to replace the one I had lost, friends to take the place of my emptiness. But there was no one. Look at them. That is what I wanted, Pineclaw. But no one would ever miss me. No one will cry when I have gone. No one will mourn. All I wanted was a name, but all I have done is take names from the world. Why do I still serve Saruman? He has not given me what I sought. He could not. I gain nothing by furthering the wizard's plans. I speak now for myself, Pineclaw. I will not allow you and your friends to leave as you are. You cannot stop us from leaving. I will not allow you to leave before you hear these words. Lothrandir is still alive. What? What is it? You spoke of the strength of Lothrandir's will, and you were not wrong. Saruman tried to exert control over his mind, tried with it with every ounce of his power, but still, your friend resisted. The wizard wove convincing illusions and port of despair, but still Lothrandir fought. Many and powerful were the tricks he employed to break his for your friend's mind, but each one failed. Lothrandir remained strong, and the wizard could find no means of bending him to his will. In the end, Saruman had to abandon the effort. He took another prisoner from his cell, a Falcon Clan warrior named Kenned who had proved unable to work in the pits, and dressed him in Lothrandir's garb. That is the poor creature you saw before you. He had la last earned his freedom. Oh, so that's what happened to Kenneth. Lothrandir is in a cell in the building's southeasternmost passage. Southernmost passage. Gunain. Your crimes are many, and I cannot forgive them. But we would have left this place believing our kinsmen to be lost. I am grateful for this thaw in your heart. For that reason, I name you Mercy, and grant you safe passage from Isengard. We have no quarrel. Mercy. Pineclaw, return the way you came. All right, so let's go. You see the name on her character portrait changed with that. Oh, yeah, this way. And I think.
think it's uh, right. I think yeah, this is where we're supposed to go. All right, we got the key. Oh, wakey, wakey! Is that you, Pikeola? I did not think I would see you again. The wizard was not pleased when you escaped. I almost felt sorry for Saruman. I think his orts are endlessly disappointing him. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. I guess they are. Lothrandir, it is good to see you alive, my friend. Lothrandir is safe, and we have accomplished our aim, Pine Claw. I would be glad to leave this place behind us. And what would happen after that? We'll find that out in the next episode of Piney Plays The Bjorning.